Hello viewers, here is our project for Instructables Smart Mailbox. Usually uh, people living in communities or independent houses usually have to walk all the way to the mailbox and get depressed watching an empty mailbox or get frustrated seeing an overflowing one. So Smart Mailbox is your solution to get notified whenever you receive a new email, new mail. So let's see how this actually works. Whenever a mailman uh, puts in a new, in a new mail in your box, it cuts the beam and you get notified to your phone. So here, as you can see, it says that, hey, uh, you got a new mail. So how did this actually work? We have a, so this is an amalgamation of three, three different circuits. One is a laser emitter, which you can see on the left side of the uh, mailbox. And uh, you have a photoresistor on the other end. So a light beam is being passing from the light emitter to the photoresistor. This, this fulfills a complete circuit and at one corner of the mailbox you see a motion detector this is a PIR motion sensor and all these three are connected from a breadboard to the Raspberry Pi as you know that Raspberry Pi has all the digital pins so here are the signal pins connected to their corresponding nodes with a few of them grounded and here is the power bank for your Raspberry Pi. As it, as it is Wi-Fi enabled, there is no need of external Ethernet that has to be connected to this. And here where you, where, where you can see the breadboard, we have a capacitor. So the capacitor and the photoresistor would uh, send the signals to the Raspberry Pi whenever the light beam is broken. As a part of implementation, we have used Node-RED. So Node-RED is a visual tool for wiring together the hardware devices with uh, APIs and online services. It provides a browser-based flow editor that makes it easy to connect all these devices, synchronize the data, process it, and flow it through the subsequent systems. As you can uh, see here, in Raspberry Pi 3, Node-RED comes pre-installed. And uh, here in the flow, we have three different flows. The first flow is to set the laser uh, status. So initially, the laser status would be uh, zero, unless until you trigger your flow. And uh, once it is triggered, the laser status is set to one and uh, the light starts emitting. And uh, below here, we have two uh, other circuits. So the bottom one is to reset the laser light. And in the middle, we have a circuit which synchronizes the data between light sensor and the motion sensor. As I have told you, the photoresistor and the capacitor combination works as a light sensor. So initially, when the beam is activated and uh, the light is complete, the beam is complete, you have the status as zero. Whenever the beam is cut, it sends a check beam status. So I have used a global context variable which can be used throughout the flow. And when there is a motion detected, a check motion status uh, gets initiated. And here also a global context variable is being set. So here I'm doing a final check where it would check the status of these two uh, lights, uh, light sensor and motion sensor. And finally would trigger a uh, Twilo, tw trigger, uh, trigger the Twilo. And this would send an SMS. So Twilo doesn't, uh, comes pre-installed into the Node-RED that has been installed onto the Raspberry Pi. As we know that Twilo is a communication platform as a service, uh, we have to install this on the uh, Node-RED by uh, using an NP command after getting a complete software update. Uh, so we have to create a trial, uh, we had to create a trial account in the Twilo and uh, we had to register a personal phone number onto the node red flow. So 
whenever these two uh, the light sensor and the motion sensor sends the signal the final check would do the actual processing of the data and triggers a, a status to the uh, Twilio node and that would finally be sending the uh, you got a new mail to your phone so this is our implementation and thank you